Good afternoon, my name is Thomas Mateo, Staff Sergeant of the United States Marine Corps. Served in Vietnam from 1965, 66, 68, and 69. I had the great honor of being an infantry platoon leader to lead Marines into combat, which to me is probably the greatest accolade of my life. Uh, I am also the recipient of six Purple Heart medals. Uh, my problem wasn't that uh, I couldn't dunk, it's that I thought people kept telling me to stand up, they were actually telling me to shut up. So that's what happened to me. But uh, I, I was very fortunate in my life. Uh, after coming out of the Marine Corps, I was uh, service-connected disabled, but not to the point that I couldn't work. I went on to a law enforcement profession and I became a police chief in Dade County, Florida in two separate municipalities and also ran a money laundering unit in the latter years of that. And after that I went to a company with 5,000 employees and was able to uh, continue on my career in human resources and risk management and managed that company for 10 years until they went out of business. I'm greatly honored to be here today. I thank uh, the Jetson family and everyone here that's participated in this event. Uh, it's just wonderful to see veterans that come together and that are given the accolades that they deserve over these years. Uh, probably the one incident that stands out the most uh, in my memory of my service in Vietnam, and it's actually being uh, turned into a movie that's being filmed currently in, in Hollywood called WoundedWarriorsMovie.com. Uh, I had been in a firefight for three days uh, in an operation where we had killed over 800 of the enemy. And I had been wounded in the lower abdomen. I was shot, gut shot. And I laid there with two other Marines who were dead. And I, apparently I bled out to the point to where my respiration and my pulse, et cetera, were basically down to nothing at all. And uh, enemy soldiers finally overran our position. We had run out of ammunition and, and they finally overran us. Probably to my advantage, I was uh, fortunate to be in that situation because if I would have been alive, I'm sure I would have been able to continue to fight. I probably would have been killed. But they believed I was dead and they took my watch off, uh, my ring off, and my dog tags from my neck. And, sat there and urinated on me and I could actually smell the, in the scent of their urine, the scent of fish. And to this day, I think fish has always, uh, as a negative thing in my mind, it always triggers me right back to that day, uh, lying there with my two fellow Marines. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate, I'm very fortunate to have a, a wife that has understood the, the whole element of post-traumatic stress disorder and I urge every single veteran who may believe that they are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder to step up and look into it. Try to find out if, in fact, you are suffering from it. If you can get help, it's imperative that you do. Uh, I, for 35 years, like I said, worked, never realized that I was a sufferer of post-traumatic stress disorder. And after 35 years, I found out that I was, and I'm 100% service-connected for post-traumatic stress disorder, and not only my wounds, but also post-traumatic stress disorder. So I, I would hope that Americans would uh, understand that this is nothing more than a wound to an individual's brain. Uh, it's superficial to many, they don't understand that, but you may not bleed from that, believe me. Every single day of your life you suffer from it and the pain is there. So I honor all of our veterans this day, and I again thank the Jessup family for this wonderful opportunity for all of us. Thank you.